This is my 1964 Ford Falcon. It's been in my family since 1978. I'm upgrading my six-cylinder steering to a V8 Falcon setup and Granada disc brakes. In this video, I'm showing how to pack the bearings and install the rotor. There are a few different ways to do this. You can put some grease in your hand and just take the bearing and kind of bite off a little chunk like that until it comes up through the top here. The best method I know to use is a handy packer. It's made by Lyle. You just take your bearing, drop it in, use this plunger until the grease comes up through the rollers like that. That's what you want to see. So just take a little bit of this grease in the middle, smear it around the outside. And this rotor already has a race inside it. So we'll drop that in there and we will put our seal in. We'll drive that seal down in there. And that's it. The next thing we're gonna do is clean the rotors and they come with a coating, oil, kind of a greasy, oily coating to keep it from rusting. So I like to use a carbon choke cleaner. It's a little bit thicker. This will leave a residue, so definitely go back over it with a brake parts cleaner. But this will help uh, dissolve some of that oil and stuff. So we'll spray just a little bit on here. And we'll just come back over it with some brake parts cleaner. And this will dry with no residue and it's ready to put on the car. The reason that you have either drilled and slotted or standard just slotted rotors like this is to help dissipate the heat a little bit better and also to prevent a layer of gas from building up between the brake rotor and the brake pad during heavy braking. Now we're gonna mount the brake rotor onto the spindle. First, we'll take a little bit of grease and coat the inside of the seal. Slide it up on there. Take our small outer bearing, we'll put our large washer and it's got a keyhole there. That goes like that and we'll take our large nut and finger tighten it I'm going to torque it to about 25 foot-pounds while I'm rotating the wheel in the opposite direction and that's it now this is way too tight to leave it so we'll loosen it up What I like to do is just leave it alone, finger tighten it, and then put this slotted cap on to where we can put a cotter pin through the notch there. Should be just about like that. Then we'll put our cotter pin through and we'll be done. 